Hello and welcome to another video from Double RL. Here you can see um, we're at the uh, Chippenham uh, Junction part of the layout and um, today what we're going to do is basically show you how to replace uh, the tunnel um, portal here. So the tunnel portal itself is printed on some card, it's doing pretty well, um, but when we originally designed it uh, we didn't quite get this uh, section right and some of the brick isn't quite to scale. So um, what I want to do is basically replace it. Um, so what I have is uh, the scale scenes Ashlar um, print that's been uh, cut out here. And as you can see, actually uh, it's the correct height. Uh, not quite the correct width, but it's uh, a little bit longer. But it'll, uh, it'll fit in there um, quite nicely. So what we're going to do is measure this up, cut it, and um, measure up where our two entry points are. And what I've also got is the scale scenes um, tunnel portal. And what I've done is I've just taken the tunnel portal page that has the um, actual opening for the tunnel mouth and we're going to use that to uh, cut the uh, the hole for the track. We're just going to make sure that it does fit correctly. And then uh, as part of this video we're also going to show you how to how we attach the uh, the card walls to the uh, wall here itself um, here in the basement. So uh, I'm going to go start off by uh, just measuring this, and it's quite simple. You just basically take a pencil, make sure you line it up correctly, and I'm just going to mark it off on the back. Like so. You see, it's uh, left to mark uh, right there on the back, and we'll use that to cut it. And what we're going to do is leave about a quarter, maybe half a centimeter or so, like five millimeters, uh, just so that we can wrap it around the uh, edge here of the, um, the tunnel portal so it looks proper. And uh, we also took from the scale scenes. Uh, page the uh, tunnel fascia stuff here to kind of go around the edge of the tunnel to make it a clean kind of look. Um, so I'm going to go cut that and then we'll uh, continue the video. Okay, so um, we've cut this out um, into the correct size. So what we do is we'll just line that up and then what you do is when it's, uh, you'll see there's a bit of an overlap here on this side. Um, you just line it up so the top part of it's straight. The bottom part you can really sort of fix with the thing. And then what you want to do is just lift it up slightly so you can find the edge of the original tunnel portal. Make sure it's flush on that side. And then just mark it off there and mark it off there. Now where you mark it on this, the indentation for the pencil, you'll be able to see in the light. If you want to shine it up towards the light and you can mark it off on either side, as you can see there. You can see where I've marked it off on um, on both sides of the paper. Uh, right here and right here. And what I've also done is cut the stencil. So you can see uh, this was the original arch. had uh, this stuff in the middle. And I basically cut it in half and then uh, cut it around the arch. And the reason for that is um, it's actually wider here than the um, than what the tunnel portal allows for. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these as stencils so we get the um, arch right on the actual uh, back of this and we'll cut it and uh, test it and we will have to paint the back of it probably black because it's going to end up being a little bit lower on the side of the tunnel than the other side but I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so I'm going to go and uh, get that drawn up and uh, cut it and you'll see the, uh, the next step. Okay, so since this is uh, 10 centimeters high, and these are only 9, um, what I did was ended out finding the center between the two marks um, that we uh, put on here for the edges. And then um, I drew, measured up uh, exactly 10 here, and then I um, put into place the, uh, the templates. So you simply line up the top line, which is the top of it, and you can line template up like that to get the arc right and do the same thing 
on the other side. You want to line it up with the outermost point here and the uh, top line for the height. And then you just mark it along like so. And then uh, basically you end up with something like this. So we're going to go cut this out completely and that should drop into place. Okay, so there you can see uh, we've got it cut out and then we uh, also glued it in place. Uh, there's a bit of an overlap, we'll do with that in a minute. Uh, you can see there for it to do that. So you can however see there's a new problem and that's that the old um, section of the bridge here is a slightly different curve and we didn't quite have it right the first time around. So what we're going to do is uh, take the knife and cut that piece out and cut that piece out and do any adjustments and we should be good to go. Okay, so you can see there um, we've cut this out with the X-Acto knife and um, one of the things that we did have a problem with was the uh, tunnel mouth because it's bigger the uh, inside curved wall um, was a little bit uh, too narrow and there wasn't quite enough play in it to, to stretch it out so what we did was we put a small slit in the roof uh, right here uh, which you can't see uh, just to uh, enable us to, to tape this back in towards the wall and the rest of it will kind of get hidden up by the uh, internal fascia. Um, so I've applied some glue here to the back of the lip and we're just going to go and fold that around like so. And um, there you have it in terms of um, placing the tunnel mat. So the next thing we're going to do is stick that wall in from behind and glue it up. And also uh, glue into place the uh, the face there to cover the kind of uh, rough edges around the side of the tunnel here. So I'm going to go cut this out. It's a bit of a task, and then we'll um, show you the rest. Okay, so uh, I decided I'd show you how to glue the wall to the wall first, since it's a lot easier. Um, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to use this um, painter's tape. Now the painter's tape will stick on the wall and stay stuck on the wall until you peel it off. Um, and we're also going to use some PBA glue. This is Elmer's glue. Okay, school glue will work. Now we're not actually going to glue the walls to the wall. Um, we're going to use the glue around the base of the wall um, to hold it to the baseboard. And we're actually going to use the tape to uh, tape it to the wall here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the actual wall and figure out where it's first going to hit the wall. Line that up like so. I'm going to mark on the baseboard where that goes and then roughly put a little mark behind the wall like that. Okay, so you can see here, well, maybe you can't see, but there's a wall mark right here on the wall, and then down here is where it hit the baseboard. So, what we're going to do is uh, tear off two strips and now uh, the painter's tape will curl so be prepared for that and basically we're going to stick one piece along the top here like so and then one piece at the bottom like so and then basically you just uh, put the ball into place and, and stick it up against it. Um, so you'll take one like so. Just line it back up into place. And just push it like so. Now the next thing we're going to do is keep this to the old ball. Now you can see here there's a a bit of a, a bit of a gap and we'll build one of these power pit things to take care of that. Um, and then basically all you have to do is stick the uh, tape along beside the rest of the wall and uh, that is basically it for attaching it to the wall. So I'm going to go do that first and then we'll show you what we do with the glue. 
down the bottom here. Okay, so you can see we've put the base layer of glue um, around there. So what we're going to do is take some of this uh, rock debris and just uh, sprinkle it down in there and up against the glue. Sort that out like so. Actually, it works itself out. Basically, uh, the rock debris here is um, just hiding that seam between the uh, card and the, uh, and the baseboard itself. Also, kind of gives it a nice looking effect. Usually, you have uh, some sort of rock and kind of debris from uh, you know the aging kind of walls and so on as bits fall off of them. And you could also use ballast for this by having an awful lot of this uh, rock debris, so it uh, works out pretty well. So um, there you have that, you just basically want to continue that, you don't need to use a lot of it, you just need to use You can see here I've got this uh, ruler propping up uh, the wall here just to hold it in place as it glues. Um, once it glues I can take that out of the way and uh, it should be done. Alright, so uh, there you have the entire wall. It's uh, still glowing but you can see here uh, the effect we've got by using the uh, Woodland Scenics uh, rock debris. So if you're not quite sure, uh, here's the Woodland Scenics rock debris. And uh, comes in a 25 cubic inch or 490 cubic centimeter uh, bag. It's about four dollars. It's not too bad. Also works for uh, for loads and wagons and so on. But um, so there you basically have. That's how we uh, attach the walls to the wall. And for the layout, you can see that we've essentially attached it to the wall without causing any damage to the wall. Uh, so if you ever have to remove this, not that I have any plans to do that, um, you just have to pull up the baseboard. Um, it doesn't actually, it's not gonna, it's gonna peel away from the wall without taking the paint off. Okay, so there you have the end result. Um, it's looking pretty nice. Um, I haven't actually attached this yet. I'll do this in another layout update. Um, I realized I didn't quite have enough of it to go across the uh, larger opening. So uh, we'll get that sorted out in a uh, later video. So um, there you have it, we've uh, changed the face uh, on the uh, tunnel portal here, made it uh, match the uh, the rest of the walls. Um, doesn't look too bad. Um, once we get the other stuff in there, we'll get rid of those uh, white kind of edges on that side. And uh, all in all, that's uh, looking pretty nice. So um, that's it for today. So until next time.